Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. After a long break, I'm back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on BI Publisher reports in Oracle ERP Cloud or HCM Cloud. I'm going to be focusing more on ERP Cloud because that's what I work on. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Arun. I make videos on ERP Cloud, EPM Cloud, integrations and analytics. If you are interested in learning more about these topics, consider subscribing to the channel. In this video, I wanted to look at a sample BI Publisher report. We're going to look at the different components of the report and then talk a little bit about the data model and the report or the format. One thing that you need is access to an ERP Cloud instance or HCM Cloud instance and you should be able to log in and access the BI Publisher catalog. So let's start there. How do we navigate to the BI Publisher catalog? As you can see, I'm logged in as a user here and I'm at the home page. Let's click on the hamburger icon on the top left of the page. Click on tools, click on reports and analytics and click on browse catalog this is going to open up the ba publisher catalog it's going to navigate to the most recently accessed folder so in my case i'm in custom bip tutorial folder and you can see a few folders and reports in there but let's talk a little bit about the navigation itself so the first thing that we did is went into tools reports and analytics and clicked on browse catalog to come to this page you could also copy and paste this URL. So you could copy this URL and paste and go. And that should open up the BA Publisher catalog for you. All right, so that th those are two different ways you can navigate to the BA Publisher catalog. Now let's, let's talk a little bit about the folders. You're gonna see two sets of folders, my folders and shared folders. So my folder is useful when you're working on a BI Publisher report. You don't want anyone else to access it and you want to keep it private. So you're going to save that BI Publisher data model and report in my folders. So no one else in the organization has access to it. Only you have access to that artifact. Shared folders is where you can see the out of the box report. So if I expand, you can see... Um, Folders called financials, human capital management, manufacturing, procurement project. So all of these standard reports are available in the common uh, shared folders. And you can create custom, custom reports. Those reports, if you want others in the organization to access those reports, you should be saving those reports in some folder within shared folders. You would also see a folder called as custom. This is, you know, if you, it's a good practice to have this custom folder where you can um, group all your custom reports into one folder. So custom folder, and then you have, you, know, you can create multiple number of folders to group all of your reports. You can have one folder for payables, receivables, general ledger, HCM, payroll, and so on and so forth. All right, I have created a folder called BIP Tutorial and either you can expand on the left navigation menu, you can expand custom, you can click on BIP Tutorial and it's gonna show you the folder contents on the right pane. Or if I, I'm in custom a folder, on the right pane, I can click on um, expand and it's gonna open up the uh, BIP Tutorial folder Within that folder, you'll see another folder called as data model. And it's a good practice to have this data model folder so you can place or save all your data models in one uh, place. And you can have a report outside of that folder or in the main folder. In this case, my main folder is BIP tutorial and all of my data models will be in the data model folder. Okay. Um, 
You would also notice that the icon for data model is different. So, um, if and if you hover over the icon, it tells you the system tells you that it is a data model, and the icon for the report is obviously different. And if you hover over the icon, it tells you that it's a report. All right, for the report itself, you do have a lot of options. One of them is open. So this is how you can run the report. Edit if you want to make changes to the layout, add new templates, uh, change the output format, uh, default output format, etc. You can click on edit. And if you click on more, you'll see many options and we'll get into more of these details in our upcoming videos. Uh, so schedule, history, jobs, uh, and then actions like delete, copy, rename. You can also add this to your favorites, create a shortcut to this report, um, archive. So if you want to move this report from one instance to another, this option is used. You can archive this. Um, and then in the other instance, you will do unarchive option. So archive and then unarchive. You have properties and permissions. So you can set permissions and who has what kind of access using the permissions. All right, let me go into the data model and you'll see it has, obviously it doesn't have an open option. It has an edit option. And if you click on more, data model has less number of options, but you'll see similar options like the report where you can delete, copy, rename, create shortcut, and archive properties and permissions. Okay. Now, depending on your privilege or the roles that you have, you may not have access to edit the data model. So you don't want everyone in your organization editing the data model. So select people uh, with select roles have access to editing the data model. Keep that in mind. All right. Now, um, let me open the report. So if I click on open, it's going to run the report by default. And you can control that action. And we will cover that in our later videos. But for this example, let's just open it. It's going to run the report. And it's the output format is PDF. It's a fairly simple report. And if you worked on financials, you would already know this. It's GL balances by ledger. So you have the ledger name, the different segments, the period name, period net debit, and period net credit. I only selected like 100 rows, but it gives you a good idea what a report is. So that's a report. Uh, this is a very simple one. I didn't show you any parameters or anything, but just wanted to show you how this report looks. So this is a report. We open the report and it runs the report. Now let's go back to the catalog. Now you could click on the back button or you could click on the catalog and it's going to take you back to the previous folder. Now let's go into the data model. All right, I'm going to click the edit option. Okay. Um, by default, when you edit the data model, it's going to open up the diagram uh, page. All right, so let's click on this data set and you could uh, click on the edit option. You'll see the name of the data model, what's the source, what type of data model this is. Obviously, this is SQL, and you have a SQL statement here. You're selecting the data from GL balances, combining it with GL code combinations and GL ledgers to get the other information. Now, like I mentioned, I'm only showing row numbers less than 100. So this is where you write your SQL, um, and you, know, you, you give it a name and the data source. So you can also connect to HCM or CRM-related tables as well. But since we are focusing on financials, you, you would select FSCM as the data source. So all of the ERP uh, financials tables can be accessed from that data source. Okay. All right. You would see the different columns here. Uh, name, uh, that's a ledger name, segment one, two, three, four, five. Although I had five segments in the data model, when I, I created the report, I only selected segments one, two and three so that tells you that you you can have more number of data fields in your data sets but it's up to you what you want to display on the report okay 
All right, so I can go into data and um, you'll see this option called view. Let's click on view. When you click on view, it's gonna uh, retrieve the data and display it here. So while you're developing the report, if you wanna see you know, whether you're able to get data, whether you're getting the correct data, this is an easy way for you to see before, even before you create the report or the layout, right? Uh, two different views, tree view, so more like a hierarchical view and, um, and table view. You can see all of the values here. You can also increase the uh, number of rows that is displayed. So 5, 10, 50, 100, and 200. Let's select 50 and click on view. And you will see that the number of rows has increased here. Okay. So that's diagram and data. On the left side, you'll see various options. Uh, some of them, some of the more used ones are a list of values and parameters and bursting. So list of values, so if you have a parameter and you want to create a list of values where you, where you can uh, have the user select from a dropdown, you will have a list of values and parameters and bind that parameter with the list of, or the other, bind the list of value with the parameter. So in my example, if I wanted to have a parameter for ledger name, I would create a list of values with all of the uh, ledger names. I'll create a parameter called um, ledger name and associate the list of values with the parameter. So when the user runs it, the user can select from the uh, list of values of ledgers. And uh, you know, obviously you have to write to SQL in such a way that it accepts that value and then controls or uh, limits the number of data that it outputs. All right, so that's data model. So this is where you write your SQL, all of your where conditions, you have your parameters, list of values. You can also burst this, where's the output. So you can burst the output as an email, uh, burst the output as a file, things like that can be done using bursting, okay? So data model is where you retrieve the data from the database. And just to explain this, I have, uh, I have this uh, diagram. The data model is where you connect to the database or the specific table or tables, get the data. One data model can be used in multiple reports. So, you know, report one can be based out of the same data model and report two can also be based on the same data model. Um, so report one and report two is based on the same data model. And for each report, you can have multiple layouts. The first layout could be tabular with all of the columns, all of the data fields being displayed. The second layout could be um, a subset of the data field. And the third layout could be something like a, like a tabular or a chart or graphical representation. Same for report two, you can have the same, you can have multiple layouts, multiple templates being used to um, control what is displayed to the end user, okay? So one data model can be associated with one or more reports. Each report can have one or more layouts or templates um, associated with the report. Okay, so that's the uh, that's all about data model and reports. Now, if I go back to the catalog, so the data model is associated with a report. How would you see the data model that is associated with this report? Let's click on edit and you'll see the data model here. And you can see the data model GL balances by ledger DM. If I click on the search or the select data model, it takes me to the data model and you can see it's the same data model here. So GL balances by ledger DM. And this is the data model that we just checked, okay? So this is how you can figure out which data model is associated with the report. A uh, couple of other things that I wanted to show is if I click on more, so I'm in the data model section on the folder, click on properties, and you can see it shows me the name, the description, it shows you the type, it shows you the location, uh, when it was created, modified, um, then a few other options, okay? 
same for the report if i click on more and go to properties you can see the name there were no description so i can provide a description here so let me provide that here all right it shows me what type it is it's a report and the location other uh properties so i'll click on ok uh since i added the description you'll see that now i can see the description here all right in this video i just wanted to show you the data model the report how a report is associated with the data model and a high level overview of the data model and the report itself all right in the next video we will start working on a simple example on creating a custom ba publisher report i hope you found this helpful um, so hit me up on twitter or linkedin um, send me an email if you have questions let me know your thoughts comments and feedback and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Have a great weekend.